The Third Door by Ananar Orm 1. I sing of Alabeth, the queen of the axe, who could fell a full elm with two hatchet hacks. She could rip apart Valenwood just for her fun. She studied under Alfhadil in Telerun. He taught her the jabs, the strokes, and the stance to make an axe swing into an elegant dance. He taught her the barbed axes of the orcs bold, the six-foot-long axes favored in Winterhold, the hollow-bladed axes of the elves of the west, which whistle when they swing through flesh. With a single-headed axe, she could behead two men. With a double-headed axe, she could fell more than ten. Yet where she lives in legend has most to do with the man who hacked her own heart in two. Two. Nienelis Olworth, the mighty who hailed from Black Rose, the only man who could best Elabeth with axe blows. In a minute, she chopped fifty trees, he fifty-three. She felt at once that he was the only man for she. When she professed her love, Nienelis just laughed. He said he loved more his axe handle than shaft. And if they weren't enough to slake all his desire, there was another woman named Lauren Thyre. Fury gripped the queen of the axe that made Elabeth, and her thoughts turned to pondering musings of death. Mephala and Shiagorath gave her a revengeful scheme, and for weeks she worked on it in a state like a dream. In the still of the night, she kidnapped her rival, and then told her choices between doom and survival. 3. Lauren Thyre awoke in a house in the moors, in a room lightly furnished except for three doors. Elabeth explained that behind one of the doors, the lass, would find Elabeth's and her love the great Nienalas. Behind the second lived a ravenous demon, and behind the third an exit to freedom. She must choose a door, and to aid her decision, if she'd pondered too long, the axe would make a division. Lauren Thyre wept, and Elabeth felt contrite, and opened the door to her immediate right. It led to the moors, and as she slipped through the gloom, she advised Lauren Thyre to likewise abandon the room. Lauren Thyre ignored her, and did not feel her will bend. Nienelis was largely behind the first door she opened. 4. Elabeth had lied. There was no demon of lore. The top third of Nienelis was behind the third door. 